Hello and welcome to the 52nd Annual World Series of Poker. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada. 88 World Series of Poker bracelets will be awarded today. Today, just one. It's event number 39. PLO, $1,500. I am David Tuckman, joined by recent bracelet winner himself, Dylan Weissman. The, the main thing is you can't play as tight. It also, it also makes it so that playing aggressive is more incentivized because if you win the pot preflop, you're not just winning the blinds, you're winning the ante as well. And in a game like PLO, when you can win chips without having to go to showdown, it is a massive win because the equity is run so close when everybody has four cards. And so introducing something like the big blind ante really makes it a it makes it more competitive, in my opinion. A lot of players, I've seen boys. some, uh, I've seen some I'm differing opinions. Crack to ICM. As we see, <laughs> you said crack the ICM. That's funny. Uh, Andrade here finds a raise with the queen ten nine eight. It, this is not as pretty of a hand. This is oh. one of those. Yeah, Blair's gonna click the pop button here. So I was about to say, Blair has to play really tight in this spot so that Andrade can bust. But what you so. Andrade is going to most likely call here. And what you'll notice is Blair's actually not going to be a huge here, favorite. The hand that the guy had. So if it was pocket that. aces versus queen 10 and hold'em, so what, 75-25-ish, oh, right? I would bet money that this is way closer than that. And that's why PLO is such a I, I'm just fun sure, slash no I'm um, high variance this, tournament really game. To. This might be a very naive, dumb it question. When you have the rundown, <laughs> like, uh, you know, 8, 9, yeah, 10, well, queen. Do you want the gap aces. at the top yeah. or the bottom? Yeah, at the bottom. You, you actually want no, you want no gap, <laughs> right. generally speaking. Four, but if seven, the eight, gap at the top is worse. Because Gabriel Andrade is Marshall all in. The equities are much closer Perfect. than you would Both see like in, in a no-limit well, tournament. I'm like 58, 42. That's in the bottom left corner of your screen. But it is Gabriel Andrade's tournament life on the line. Pot is 2.34 million. Let me tell this you how much you have to pay me. Hold on. <laughs> Some confidence. Three, nine. Go put the backpack on, man. Nine ninety-five. That's when you're ready. Nine ninety-five. Whenever you're ready, buddy. Because I have a destiny in this tournament. Not much there so far for Andrade, and you'll see that 42% shrink. No, that's if that I is an amazing flop for Blair. Probably as good as you can get, because even if an ace comes on the board, he can flop a straight draw. So this is, real, unless it was 5-5-5, five, 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 this is as good as it's going to be. Yeah, Andrade went from 42% to 3%. You don't often Ooh. see that. Queen on Queen the ball. turn. It's nice for Andrade not to be drawing dead. Uh, yeah, there you go. I like that. Glass half full kind of guy. Yeah. Andrade looking for a queen on the river. Yeah. And that is not a queen. You mentioned that cards between deuces and fives is bad. Give me all the fives through deuces through fives on this flop. Yeah, but we're talking in general, right? Doesn't mean that like any in any hand, any hand can win, right? Any four cards are going to win an individual hand of PLO. My job here is to just give you some good tips that'll help you in general. Gabriel Andrade eliminated in fifth place. He'll earn himself forty-seven thousand four hundred ninety-two dollars. That is two final tables. This. Uh, this World Series of Poker for him, and while he doesn't have the hardware to show his one-and-a-half-year-old, he does, does have two final tables and every reason to be proud of his efforts. Yep. It's an amazing You're not going to play in the Super Bowl. Yep. You know, I, I, I can't play in the NHL Stanley Cup Finals as much as I'd love to. Totally. But I can play in our biggest game, and, and there's nothing like it. So I tell people out there, I told my best friend, I, he usually comes out, for a couple of events each year, plays the smaller ones. I said, listen, maybe it's not this year, maybe it's not next year, but at some point in your life, you need to play the main event. Figure out a way to play it. What satellite the, in. I was just about to say, one of the best things is the satellites. And the satellites are generally not really, they're, they're softer fields. And so if you have some experience and hold them, you have a lot of players who just want to be able to get into the main for $200. There are a lot of players out there that also they'll play in a, like, let's say they play in a fun home game, a community where you can set up weekly games and tournaments where you send people, yep. which is pretty good. So, kind of, I'm actually going to. Interesting spot here. So, the pot's 840,000. It's back over to Dara. So, this is all pre flop. Wait, this is great. And Dara's going to go with it. So, so, Lee actually made an adjustment here and limped the button, which I love. He just called, which is a big adjustment. And then Arya finds an easy raise. He's never folding here. That's him being uh, cool. Josh. But ends up calling. Yeah, and, and Dara knows he's never folding. Yeah, he's never. Dara knows he's never folding. Is this a bit of a a, a bit of an aggressive play? Now, Dara was our short stack, but Queen Jack ten five with one suit. Can no, he he has the extra uh, one hundred twenty thousand from Lee, and Lee is very rarely ever calling. So there's dead there's additional dead money, and he's the short stack. 
So I'm actually I'm actually not. We're secure. okay with this. Then. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Well, it's fifty. It's essentially a coin flip. Pot is two point three three million. This is a standard PLO coin flip. Ace King seven three versus Queen Jack ten five. Very standard. Nine seven three rainbow. Ooh, bottom two here. Bottom two pair for Josh. Yeah, Dara has the inside straight draw, backdoor flush draw. So not as so in Hold'em, you flop two pair against nothing, you're going to be dead. But in PLO, he still has about a third of a chance. Yeah, thirty two percent. He could be drawing dead on the turn though. There are two. There are two outs or four cards that'll that'll have him drawing dead. That is not one of them. That's an action card. <laughs> that is an action card. Yep. So now and Dara now up to thirty eight percent. He hits a pair of fives. The outs are in the top of your screen. Fifteen outs. Any eight five a queen. Wow. Not a six, Again. though. Again. 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 Six does not do it, and we have our uh, our fourth place finisher, Ivan Dera, 27 years old, adds another final table to his resume, already has a bracelet, and he'll earn himself $64,890. This hand is a snap raise. Okay. By the way, he has also made the 50K Players' Championship okay, final table. Stars rule yeah, there. he has. He got second, I remember. So that was another you know, a phenomenal result. I remember talking to him before that broadcast, and he yeah. talked about strategy, and he's just a guy who... Uh, you know, he's been around for a while. He's 47 years old, and he's been playing poker for, you know, much of his adult life. Uh, oh, this, we're going to get it in, yeah, aren't th we? This is, a, this is an easy all-in for Blair. Yeah. It's, it's what I was saying before. You have two cards in your hand that are big against Arya, who should be playing every hand. This is your... Another coin flip. Another that, standard PLO hand, the ace-king, three-deuce, ace-high suit versus the queen-queen, five-eight. Blair just acutely aware of what is happening at this final table. You see how tight he is playing it when there was another short stack out there. Now that the other short stack is gone, he goes, okay, time for me to gamble. Yeah, really, and I, I would have done the exact same thing as Blair in this spot. I really like the hand that he chose against the opponent that he chose. But you've been here before. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now Blair, yeah, you can tell it's that. It's as if Bobby Blair is watching your videos. He probably is. <laughs> Let's take a look at this board here. 10-7-3. That's not a bad flop for Blair. He he adds five more outs. He's got a pair of threes. So now he yeah he, no he has yeah five more outs. So he has two more threes, three more twos, as well as the ace of the king. So remember it was fifty two forty eight before the flop. Still St still fifty two forty eight. Jack. Jack of clubs. Well, now he can catch a queen. Yeah, it adds two more outs, actually. So now he, so you see in the top left, he has 13 But he's only outs. got one card left. He's, king, queen, he's a two three. to one dog with one card left. Your outs are in your top of your screen. 13 of them. Queen, three, ace, king, or deuce. Pot is two and a half million. Here's the river. And the board pairs, and that is it. For Bobby Blair, well done. Every reason to uh, hold your head up high. This also, with his chip stack, I probably would have limped this combination instead of raising it to full pot. Because he's going to get three bet here. I didn't even see Aria's hand yet, but the 3 5 4 7 plays much better at deeper stacks. You want connectivity the deeper you are. The shorter you are, you just want high cards in your hand. Because if you flop top pair with 20 bigs, that's great. You don't really care about betting multiple streets. In that block. sense, it's the same as no limit, the same as Hold'em. Yep. Where, you know. When you're 200 big blinds deep, give me the 6 7 suited. But if I'm 25 big blinds, I just want King 10. Yeah, King 10, A7 off, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. I completely agree. And that's. And this is going to be a big issue for Tommy because he's not allowed to fold here. Once he's he, not allowed to fold. He should not fold. Right, here. right, right. He should not fold to a 3 bet. At this point, we know your vernacular. Yeah, not, yeah. Allow, not allowed and yeah. should not are the same yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. So he should, he should not fold here once well, he And opens. he knows that. He 100% knows this. But he put himself in a really bad spot. And so if he limps, he can just call the raise. Yeah, exactly. He can limp call, and then now he doesn't have to put about half of his stack in. Which is exactly what he just did. This pod is now 2.9 million. We haven't seen a flop. And, I mean, Lee's not in bad shape, but there are so many flops that are going to come out where he hates it. Also, Josh is just going to say pot on almost 100% of flops. Because if you look how much Lee has, he has about 70%. Pot. Yeah, exactly. And well, then, and this is going to, I mean, how does Lee get away from this? He's got a pair and a flush draw. It's a snap call. Lee, this is literally about as good as Lee can hope for. Nice is yeah, I mean, Lee's actually 60%. Yeah, this is a great spot for Lee. He's not supposed to, like, this is at a very above average flop for him. The fact that he's not snap calling here, I think, shows a little bit about Lee's inexperience at this specific stack depth. Uh, for PLO. Yeah, he's probably, well, he's probably, in fairness, he's probably used to being the chip leader in this spot. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> yeah. As good as he's yeah. in. This is not, this is he does get it all in, and, and the cards are on their back, and this could be it. Josh Arie, possibly just two cards away from winning bracelet number three. Mm -hmm. He is technically ahead, but Tommy Lee is a favorite to win the hand. He's got a pair of fives. You can see Lee's out. He has 18 outs two times. So for any of you who have ever played Hold'em, you know 18 outs two times. You are a favorite, but he needs to hit. 
This is another classic PLO almost flip. It's the ace ace 10 deuce versus the 3 4 5 7 try uh, flush draw on the board. Is this a case of too many outs? If it kind of feels like <laughs> it. I mean, this I mean it's huge if Bobby can uh, if uh, if Tommy can win this spot, right? Because he's back to almost 7 milli. That is a thin terrible phenomenal card. card for Josh. A terrible card for Tommy Lee, yeah. a great card for Josh, because now all those two pair outs are gone. You see him in the top corner there. Now Lee, just suddenly with nine outs, needs a diamond or a five. The ace of diamonds, no good for him. Only nine outs. Josh possibly one card away from winning bracelet number three. Here it is. Queen of hearts, and Josh Arie looks up to the sky. He yeah. sighs. And he has just won bracelet number three. He is our event number 39 champion. Wins himself $204,000. Yeah. And look at that. He's been here before. His first bracelet back in 1999. He wins again in 2005. Mm -hmm. And yet you see the relief and how thrilled he is. His first ever World Series of Poker. He finishes in third place. Takes on nearly 90000 Josh Arie uh, really putting a bow on his poker career. It's not over by any stretch. But to win another bracelet in another decade, what can you say? I'm just getting so much happiness from watching Josh. You can see it. You can see it in his body language, in his face. He's just like shaking with happiness and emotion because it's such a beautiful relief to get there. Unbelievable. Josh Arie wins bracelet number three in event number 39. What a great ride it has been tomorrow. That's right, 5 p.m., same start time, 5 p.m. Pacific time. We have event number 40 here for you, the Horse Championship. That is a $10,000 event. They're down to nine players. We will have the final five here for you at Poker Go. Dylan, thank you so much for joining us. It has been an amazing ride for Dylan Weissman, for everybody here at Poker Go and the World Series of Poker. I am David Tuckman. Have a great night. See you tomorrow.